Hello everybody, and here we are with the Field of Glory 2 Rise and Fall of Carthage Tournament. Um, well, I suppose tactical videos. Here we are with round three. This is uh, Roman versus Carthaginian round. Um, and yeah, it's going really well the tournament so far. So remember, if you're watching this either on the Slytherin or my channel, to get that like and subscribe uh, and come back for more. So we're going to have a look at the armies and the deployment and seeing what advantages or disadvantage we have in this current round. So interesting interesting so here we are with the romans this is the 280 list uh, against the 220 262 236 carthaginian interesting interesting not a great amount of terrain for the carthaginian medium foot um so we're gonna have a look at the carthaginian list have a quick look so we are allowed elephants uh for the carthaginian so if we look at the uh the of course the roman list we've got a choice of up to uh, two cavalry, uh, lots of veterans, which are amazing with that impact and swordsman. We currently have Hastati up to 10 units of some armor impact swordsman. Uh, Triarii, the good anti cavalry tactics. Medium foot for the Italian foot, then unfortunately um, simmering down to the raw legion, and then 10 units of light javelin, followed by one unit of slingers. If we have a look at the uh, enemy army, the comparison is crazy. I'd say. Carthage has a good post here, but a decent Roman player could smash. You see that they've got some advantage with the elephant, of course, which I, I do believe, but they've got to protect them from fire. Uh, and then we come down to the veteran armoured uh, cavalry. So they're getting two, we're getting two. So cavalry is about par uh, at the moment in time, uh, but not at the moment in time as the, the Romans could get out cavalry here. Uh, and then, of course, the light javelins uh, to counter the Roman cavalry or just harass the light infantry. Then we come down to one choice of heavy artillery, uh, which chance if you're not entirely sure if that's worth taking. Coming down to the warband, which are really good impact, but won't particularly do well against the superior foot of the Romans. Uh, and of course, African spearmen, mercenary hoplites, the medium uh, spears. Unfortunately, taking them cohesion checks against the heavy foot of the Romans. Of course, the always reliable Spanish, uh, which are impact swordsmen, which is really handy. Italian foot, Phoenician foot, light spear swordsman. Uh, Linguigian foot, which is, of course, slightly less better uh, infantry uh, than the Fuge style foot. And then slingers. <sighs> Carthage can out cavalry the Romans here, but depending where they go... Um, so this is what we're going to do. We know we're weak with a cavalry. Um, we've got to bust him in the face. We've got to bust him in the face. So we're going to have to have both units of cavalry um, behind our line, ready to counter his. But the way the Romans um, deal with the cavalry is TRAI. TRAI, TRAI. You see, there is a bit of rough terrain on this right side. So I may may want to go more heavy left uh, with the anti-tactic cavalry so it's expensive 78 points for the veterans but i will tell you now ladies and gentlemen the veterans do what they say on the tin they will absolutely obliterate anything they touch um so we're going to have a strong center we need this javelins uh to hopefully hit his infantry and also his elephants wherever his elephants are um leaving with 181 points left you see, I might go one or two units of Italian foot just to push this right hill uh, and get on some of this rough terrain. Uh, of course, we're going to keep the cavalry back. Ah, tempted to put a trio out to that left side to see if he goes all cavalry there. Uh, but we could get, get mightily rouged there. But like I said, the um, unfortunately, the Romans being definitely anti-infantry, uh, anti cavalry here. 48 points. We could go more light javelins, which we can go two units there. So there we go. That is what it's going to be. I sat here thinking a long time uh, what to do with this list. So we're going to make a command group to the right side here with everybody on here. Unfortunately, uh, in the cavalry. So we're going to have our cavalry just trying to sway his cavalry down. Um, we could do that. They can be all in their little bubble. So there we go. Going to be tricky. Can I see his deployment? Yeah. Cavalry all over the shop. Made a mistake there. Um, but I reckon if we run on this hill, which we aren't going to do in this video, because this is turn... Actually, no, this is still turn one, so we're going to still... We'll, we'll, I'll show you my turn one moves. Um, of course, just run on top of this hill. I 
I reckon top dollar there is stuff in that wood. So I'm going to have to stay away from it or spread out some of my Chiaria to that left side. And then what we'll do after my turn one moves, we'll move the cavalry up to support. We'll have a look at his army. So he's gone for the four units of noble cavalry, uh, a good host of slingers. There is stuff in there, of course. Lots of Spanish and mercenary hoplites and elephant. Could be an elephant in there. Could be uh, a multitude of badness. Don't see any warbands. He's not taking any warband in here. So remember, guys, my tactic is to take this hill on the right uh, and, of course, um, hold that against the cavalry. I think we can cause some havoc on this cavalry. If we, if we play well enough on this right, I think we can annoy him with the cavalry. But I think we've got a solid Roman list. If I was the Carthaginian player, I would go all left. Which I am going to do, which you will see uh, in, a, in another video. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, click that like, subscribe button. Uh, this is my turn one um, deployment on the Carthaginian vs. Roman. This is round three of the tournament. And we'll see you on the next battle video.